Welcome back to Baseball VMI, Visual Memory Index. In our first video about temperature, we discovered that similar pitches will move an additional half inch for every drop in temperature of 10 degrees Fahrenheit. In this video, we'll explore the effects of humidity on similar pitches. The pitches will be at 90 miles an hour, 90 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level, using a 70 degree arm angle and 2000 RPM of spin. Here's how the pitch reacts to the air at 80% humidity. Now, let's compare this pitch to the same pitch having changed only the humidity to 20% from the original 80%. This is the amount of adjustment the hitter must make in his muscle memory for a 60% humidity change from higher to lower relative humidity. As you can see, the amount of movement from a big humidity change is quite small. Let's move in for a closer view. Once again, 80% humidity. Now, 20% humidity. The change is actually so small that in aviation, the Federal Aviation Administration has taken humidity out of the aviation considerations when gauging lift on an airplane for a pilot to consider. However, if a hitter must be accurate on his swing to an eighth of an inch, and he does, then there's an eighth of an inch additional ball movement in every 20% humidity change to drier air. Generally, this will be offsetting with temperature as humidity normally rises with a temperature drop. However, that's not the case in Atlanta and Washington and Florida and Baltimore, where high humidity frequently coexists with hot temperatures. Confusing? Well, Wait till we add elevation conundrum to the equation. You'll begin to see why baseball is a difficult sport to play. You'll also see why statistical analysis is often far off the mark in terms of who the superior team is on the field. So far, we've looked at how temperature and humidity affect pitches. In our next video, we'll explore how pitch speed affects the delivery.